Now we will introduce the main functions of the digital remote ferry system. The whole set is including one digital remote, 20 receivers, one black package case, and an English manual. Uh, now we first introduce the receivers. Turn on the power switch. Now we introduce the receivers. It is very small size. You see, the size is almost the same as a, as a cigarette box, even smaller. It is with antenna for receiving single, singular, more stable. Now we, and it is powered by four pieces, three A batteries. Now we turn on the power switch. The green light is for indicate the power. And the, this battery lamp is indi uh, indicate for lower battery. If the battery need to change, this lamp will turn red. This is for testing. After you connecting the igniters, this lamp will turn yellow. And this small hole is for program. You can use a stick, pressing inside, and uh, one hand pressing a button on remote for program. Uh, if, if there is a receiver broken, you can buy another receiver instead. The dig digital remote has, uh, has some functions for, mm, the first day is for step five. It means uh, five the receivers one by one. The second functions is, is five all. Press one button and all the receivers fight together. And the second, the third function is sequential file. You can adjust the time by this remote. Now we will show you the three functions one by one. This remote is powered by nine weighted battery. Open the antenna and uh, Turn on the power switch. This means the remote is in good condition. Okay, first we show you how to select one channel, one receiver. Why? Uh, for example, if you need to find the second receiver, we just move the via, the via switch to two. Okay. You move this via switch, you see, from, it can move from one to 20. Now you move to one, two. Now we press this button, fire button, the red button. It will fire the signal channel. The single lamp on the second receiver via light. Okay. Uh, second. Step five. This button is for step five. 
Now we find the fourth cello and press again. Find fifth cello. Six, seven, two twenty. This is the function for step Y. Mm, now we show you how to find the 20 receivers together. Okay. Move the wheel switch again after it is to this condition. You press the five button. Now all the receivers will fight together. Now we show you how to fight the receive receivers sequentially. First, also move the switch wheel too. Uh, this this wheel switch is for adjusting the sequential time. The time ranges from 0, 0, 1, 0 0.1 second to 2 seconds. Now I will show you. Like this. This is 2, 0. It means the sequential time is 2 seconds. 2 seconds. Now it is one eight. It means the sequential time is one point eight seconds. You can find the timetable the timetable from the manual. Now I adjust it to ten. To 10. It means I can find the 20 receivers sequentially by one second in interval. When I adjust the time, I, lead, I have to press the wheel switch, press for one time. Now the digital table we are flashing, flashing. Okay, now you can find the five button sequentially. Okay, done. The 20 receivers are all fine by one second. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the steps for sequential five. Uh, and this digital remote also has the memory functions. You see this red lamp. If it turns green, for example, I adjust to the 20 cellos. Now the, if the 20 cellos are not fired, not fired, the lamp turns green. And if the 20 cellos is fired, it will turn red. It will turn red. For this function, you will know which cello is fine and which cello need to find. If the cellos find, find all fine or sequential find, this name will also turn red. Okay, finish.